Hey, Shalom Rastafari. This is the video that basically started it out, at least the uh, overt persecution of Ethiopian World Net, our broadcast channel on the YouTubes, right? And it's good to see that there's a couple of other places where this really is. And as you can go on, this is like a comments page, comments on this video, um, calling the lost sheep of the true Israel of God out of the harlot right here, other folks um, speaking on this particular issue, and then it kind of uh, fades away. Um, okay, what's that says right there? Okay, just was reading that. All right, so here's where it all started, but you can still see the video. Um, the black man's problem, really a God problem. Right, this is a Willie Lynch, a Slick Willie um, revisited video, and others had posted it up um, on their broadcast channel, and I think it appears here on um, um, IDs on Tube, right? IDs on Tube, right? Um, I don't know if the this this is this is the still right here of the vid, actually. I don't know if this still will come up. But this is a still of the vid. Now, I want to just go through this a little bit. This will be like, I think, a third or fourth of video. Here's it. Education is the key. The black man's uh, problem, really a God problem. Because folks are asking, well, how come you're not, you know, broadcasting? Or what is, well, there's no new video on Ethiopian World Net and so forth and so on. And, you know, want to know, well, um, What's happening, you know? Well, basically, we have in a self-imposed exile, right? A self-imposed exile. But there's a persecution that's going on. And although we're the target, today is us. Tomorrow is you, right? And this is the video that caused so much controversy, right? Just speaking the truth, not calling for any kind of race war or going on with uh, a bunch of uh, racial pontifications, but just speaking about the truth. Right? But the truth is an offense, but not a sin. So here, this is the Addis. You can see it, Addis on tube, and they seem to have um, several of I and I videos and other videos as well, as you can see it from right here. And we give thanks for those who have made that possible to get these videos linked right here. I think education is the key. Um, three needs to be credited in this wise, seeing that the, you know, that link is right there. All right, but let's look at this right here. Okay, Ethiopian World Net. This is the latest video that we posted up. We just decided to call it Rastafari Videos and YouTube Persecution, right? YouTube's persecution, basically. Um, questioning whether whether we should come forward from the self-imposed exile or at least just allow these vids to get circulation while while they can but something very slick that these folks that these people do who um are taking away our rights or who want to take away our rights now when you look at um this is the community guidelines page, right? The account status for Ethiopian World Net, right? Like we said, we're going to verify this. But first, what we wanted to do was to um, uh, take notes, you know, get some evidence. And this right here is evidence. And just so ones will know that this is being recorded when we say this is Monday, March uh, 4th, uh, 2013. You see it right there. Right, so folks might say, "Oh no, that didn't happen then." And here's the website, just so you recognize it as well. But when we look at the fact that they say our account has received, you know, the following uh, community guidelines warning strikes. Right, and remember, strikes is plural. Strikes, not strike. But here's strike one. Right, okay, strike one, September eighth, uh, twenty twelve. And they go through all this mumbo jumbo saying that the YouTube community, whatever that means, has flagged one or more of your videos as inappropriate. What does inappropriate mean? What's inappropriate? You mean speaking the truth 
about our Holocaust and genocide and those who still um, profit from that injustice. If we speak about reparations, repatriation coming out of Babylon, one can find that inappropriate too, right? Because they're going to lose money if you come out of Babylon, right? They're going to lose their false status if you come out of Babylon and wake up. So to them, that's inappropriate. But they say um, the YouTube team, right, you know, is this responsible. So they say we have determined, right, really they have judged you in absentia, that the following video or videos contain content, the way it says content, in violation of these guidelines and have been disabled, right, disabled, just like they've disabled the black man, just like they've disabled the black family. Right? Is the black man's lost sheep of Israel's problem really a God problem? Is this particular video right here, Slick Willie re revisits it. But I noticed something when I read on, like when you read on. Sometimes there's a lot of mumbo-jumbo here, but you got to spend time, you know, to decipher it and get a good reading comprehension. Try to comprehend what they're saying and read between the lines, you know, overstand. Right? Not just understand, but overstand. They say we, right, they, in other words, encourage free speech. Excuse me? You encourage. We have a First Amendment right to free speech. In fact, we encourage your free speech, if anything. But they want to flip it. They say it's like they flip the script, right, because they've dumbed down the people, right? People have been dumbed down, and they don't know what their rights are, so they get away with saying they encourage free speech and defend everyone's right to express their points of view to the point that they say it's inappropriate, right? Um, point of view, even if unpopular, even if unpopular. But if we have a point of view which is popular, they find it to be inappropriate. Understand that. Um, but YouTube does not permit hate speech. Where do we get from free speech or really freedom of speech to hate speech? I mean, who's judging it? Remember, it's they who have determined. They have determined. And they are the YouTube's team that represents the uh, YouTube's community. That's like, one cur that's like one curtain covered over by another curtain covered over by another curtain. So they say, just pull the curtain back. You'll see, you'll see the man behind the curtain. When you pull it back, you see another curtain. And they said, there's nobody. There's just another curtain there. Well, you have to pull that back, and then you might find another curtain. When you keep pulling it back, eventually you'll find what's really behind it. And this is what we're seeking to do right here. So they say they don't permit hate speech. Uh, hate speech? If I say, we hate to be slaves. We hate to be enslaved. We hate what has happened to our answers, and we hate the situation we're in, and we're expressing our self-determination to do for self. That's, that's inappropriate. That's not appropriate to say that. In fact, because you hate us persecuting you, right, that's hate speech. And they might say that about this video, but so be it. Hate speech means, oh, 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 oh now we're going to get a meaning for hate speech, right? Hate speech means, right, content that promotes hatred or violence against members of a protected group. Uh, 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 did you get that? Protected group, you mean like endangered animals or wildlife or something like that? What do you mean protected group? What do you mean like homosexuals, Jews, gays? I mean, um, 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 what are you talking about? Race, they say, or ethnic origin, religion, disability, gender, age, veteran status, and sexual orientation, gender. You know what? Compared to all this new world order mumbo jumbo, I really do prefer, just compared to, I prefer the American Constitution, right? And, you know, on that level, where they say all men are created equal. They may not practice it, but we can still argue the point, you know. Uh, uh, am I not a man? I am a man, you know what I mean? So once you, we, we get that out the way, you, then it applies to everybody, all this. So who is not a part of this protected group? It says race or ethnic origin, so for, it's a bunch of mumbo-jumbo. Sometimes there's a fine line between love and hate. No, they didn't say that. I'm saying that. What is and what is not considered, considered, that means to be thought of. You know, thoughts change, right, uh, as hate speech. If you're not sure whether or not your content crosses the line, don't post it. So they're saying, even though you have freedom of speech, STFU, 
shut the fuck up, basically is what they're saying. STFU, you know, like Rahm Emanuel likes to say a lot, right? This is the second community guideline warning strike on your account. Uh, your account has received within six months. Uh, excuse me, you're saying strike one right here. Where's the other strike? Pray tell, show me what the other strike is. People, there is no other strike. See, they're saying this is the what? This is the... This is the, um, they say, second, my community guidelines warning strike your account has received. But they say right here, strike one. It's like if we're playing uh, baseball and I throw the ball and you swing at it and you miss and the umpire says, strike one. And then you hear the announcer to the people in the bandstand basically say, this is, this is his second strike. Wouldn't you just step back from the plate for a moment? This is why the self-imposed exile. Right, you know, once you step back from the plate to pray and to to research and to search it out and to you know figure out what's going on to get better intel about it. So they're liars. They're a bunch of liars. Warning. This is this is the second warning strike, but then this is strike one. Shouldn't it be strike two? Shouldn't it be strike two? Okay. Well, anyway. Um, some folks will say, well, that means it's good because if it's strike one, that means you have two more strikes. No, 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 no. Look what it's saying right here. This is, this is the second warning strike. So really, you can interpret that. We have one more strike. See, it depends on what is considered hate speech, what is considered. You understand? Isn't this right here in itself from, from the good old YouTubes, isn't this hate speech in a sense? They hate the fact that we can speak and we can understand their covert hatred. Right? Um, maybe not them personally, but in this regard, it is so. So they say, um, accordingly, the ability to access this account has been disabled and will not return until two weeks after you acknowledge this message. After you acknowledge, do you hear what I'm saying to you? You hear what I'm saying to you? And please review the YouTube community guidelines and refrain from further violations or otherwise which may result in the termination of your account or your accounts. See, they said this is received September 8th, 2012, strike one. If it's the second strike, then shouldn't that be at another, at another time, and shouldn't that be here? Or are they not keeping good records themselves? Anyway, so our account, therefore, is not in good standing, according to them, or, you know, it's kind of, Good standing, not good standing. Then they say we have copyright claims, right? But then it says good standing. But then they say content ID claims, not good standing. Isn't the content ID claims to do with our content 